Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Gallywix because, well, let's be real, Gallywix is one of the most fun heroes in this meta. There are a lot of new cards that have given a lot of control of the game. If you can just greed and get to a lot of gold very quickly, and if you can start gold ramping on Gallywix, you can make disgusting things happen. And very similar to a game we had in the past with Vol'jin, using Greta Gold Gun to be create uh, effectively a golden ball per turn. You can do some really nasty stuff with that right now. Get scaling on the ball to start, put ball another ball on the board with a golden ball, get the ball to land on the ball, gold the next one, gold the next one over and over and over again. And suddenly you turn 50-50 into 400-400 and you're just dumping on everybody. All right, enjoy. We're going to be able to go to four of this game. This is pretty solid. That's a nice little trickster over there. I love my little buddy. What's up, little trickster? How you doing? It's all analytics for someone, indeed. Google Analytics. The biggest culprit. Amazon Analytics. Okay, it's not Amazon Analytics. They don't call themselves that. Regardless. Amazon has... A ton of investment into it as well. Google, the big boy. It's a good thing I'm anonymous and they can't link my data to me IRL via my linked Amazon account. Oh God. Yeah, it takes a lot to be, to be truly anonymous anymore. And by truly anonymous, you just are relying on somebody somewhere. Not even truly anonymous. Somebody to do their job. Pockies. <laughs> Is that salad card too? <laughs> Good use of bird dab. Beautiful. All right, we don't want this shit. Hmm. This is okay. We're gonna stay on four next turn. Get him, Pashmar. Let's go. Oh shit, we're doing the thing. Right. Well, I mean, it's a lot of power. Probably not enough. Definitely not enough. We need to be able to value trade one more minion. And hitting the <laughs> hitting the pirate early was enough to, to force that one out. We had to hit a captain first. Before the 5-1. The Still good. All right, solid, 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 question mark? Probably. Awkward. 
I don't think I overly prioritize keeping the, the tricksters. Or the, sorry, the anglers for the trickster. Which means I'm better off selling this up front. I'm going to play you through. I don't think I try to eat the shop minion. Maybe the attack. The health isn't worth it. But we should be pretty strong this turn, right? Eh, maybe. Alright. You hit that one. Easy. Easiest game ever. Easiest game ever. Just take the attack. This motherfucker. <laughs> It's just the two attack I don't value that highly because it's temporary. That two thirds of a permanent attack is hot better than two attack this turn. We have a pretty decent board for this stage of the game. We have three extra gold. We can try to go to five. We really don't have direction yet. Elise is going to have to give it to us. And the fact that we have a Rendell now too. That's streamer luck. It was streamer luck. Streamer's OP. We got the bonus luck package today. Oh shit, maybe I'm not leveling. That's next turn now. Because we can ramp off of this. Game, what am I even doing here? This is all good. Not a bad board to eat either. gems anywhere, right? I'm going to take my rolls. Two, one. We get both of them next turn. We could pick up this. round we tank. Do we play a trickster or not? Yeah, probably. No, that wasn't a hit. That wasn't either. Those hits were terrible, miserable, awful. Seven to 15 will be 15, so be it. But we know this round is kind of unwinnable. We're doing nothing with our turns. We're setting up for this turn. Peggy's so cute if we had a way to use it. Regular monkeys? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Something fucked up. Well, we can't die this turn.
think we let that board go. Still no direction though. I mean, it's still a pretty decent board. Ain't terrible. We got 19 gold next turn. 20 gold with this. We're just Gallywix. Gallywix just needs time. Good opening attack. Good attack there too. Cute. Unfortunately, the trickster not dying may be the worst case scenario here. Yeah. Doesn't really do what we need it to do now, does it? Too bad. That one could have been damage reduced too. 7 to 15 last turn, and then coin flip lost this turn. It's the only way we're below damage cap. Feels bad, man. Don't have to do that up front. Board kind of sucks. All right, there's our big turn. We got ourselves a nice little golden trickster at a gigantic stat line. We're a card away from APM Pirates. Not like I really want this elder on the board, but it's here and we got a Theotar. So, like, that's a lot of stats. Please tell me Undead's less dominant. Hasn't it appeared that way in the first two games? Same kind of boards winning both games. Well. Do it again. I mean, I'm never going to really have this on the board. <laughs> I need to play this through and I need to play that through too hmm I hate it maybe Theotar or this is now bait alright we're gonna call that bait just hit just hit dude it's it's not that hard just just always hit <laughs> all right well 
We're a three unit Andy, but <laughs> it's working. Gallywix, what a hero. Everything's coming up ball. Yeah, ball plus Greta is just a nasty combo. The fact that you can just gold it, and then whenever you have a good scaling line, each time you find a ball, you just duplicate those stats on the board. We talked about it with Vol'jin before, because like it's the, the biggest culprit, because you can swap the biggest stat line into the ball and then do it each turn. But just this is good. It doesn't have to be perfect. What we at? 20 gold for this turn? Everybody's alive. Somebody's a Draxus. We didn't even note that. Why is somebody a Draxus? Really, I don't have that much stuff to do this turn. I don't know why I decided I needed to do that early in the turn. Kind of unnecessary. Considering that a neutral is better than a necrolite and we only have seven gold left, we probably should let this one go. Trash. <laughs> I mean, this is more stats for this turn, but like. Poison. Don't you want to level? I'm not spending seven gold to level. Seems like the worst possible choice. No! You can't make me! Once again, we will remain a three unit Andy. Yeah, if you spend gold, not only do you lose the gold this turn, you lose the gold next turn. Just because you want that gold in Theotar doesn't mean you should spend 7 gold that results in you only having like 13 and, or 15, whatever, gold next turn instead of 20 gold. Gold ramping so important on Gallywix that just getting more gold each turn is more valuable than getting higher quality taverns. He can't just keep getting away with it! No more poison on this board. Good. Remain a three unit Andy. Oh, we got ghosts too. Still not leveling. Shield could be useful for next turn. It's also a small taunt, which is pretty good. We'd have to hold it for a turn, though. It's kind of a shitty board. Horse! I want horse on board. I need the horse, dude. We don't have another ball for next turn. So like, this is kind of our last shot to get the horse buffed. You can make a pretty good argument here for sell out of Theotar. It's more important to get the stats on relevant minions. Then more stats next turn. Almost like having another minion on the board. <laughs> Go to hell game. <laughs> 
<laughs> Go to hell, game. Doesn't buff Trickster nor Horse. Those are the two we want to get buffed. I'm okay with keeping Bran, because it makes it so that you have another minion on the board. I want one thing at least. I don't want the stats to go here and here and then we just lose to one poisonous minion. <laughs> but, but horsey, bro. Why you gotta be this way? Now we're, we're playing for the final boards. Okay. Final boards, he says. Manted, manted. Okay. Okay, Bob. Okay, Babsy. Ball. Don't really have a way to scale it, but... What do I put this on? I just joined to a 500 health minion? Yeah, Gallywix is a hell of a drug. Just stole all the ball buffs, indeed. What we got? Three Naga. He hasn't seen us at all this game. He has no idea what we're doing. He just has to assume big stats because of Gallywix. Surprise, Greta! <laughs> Get him, horse. Get him, buddy. Easy. It's still no tribe on the board for the Mantids. It's better than the Selfless Hero. It's a position player horse. Alright, we definitely want the the blaster against this guy. So anyway, then I started blasting. Yo, Mecha Draxus is so good when you have Bran. Bye horsey, you did great! I could have sold this for extra gold. It's probably the best value I get. I mean, I could have held it for another turn, to be fair. To be fair. Another, not turn, but a couple more boards would probably be the better play. Ever so slightly. But yeah, I could have sold it for the extra gold here, and that's probably the... Probably the read. Trash, 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 not trash, trash, nothing, do nothing, alright, we'll float three, it's cool, the game's over anyway, <laughs> one way or another it ends here, we read Naga, we read Poison, is the only real concern, you. Ew. Hit left, please. Thank you. That was close. <laughs> Big boy brain gets there. All right. Well, Gallywix is a hell of a drug.
nothing's really changed. We talked about how this tribe, the tribes in this game were terrible for Gallowix, but if you can just find a way to start ramping gold, turns out having two to three turn or times the amount of gold per turn is a pretty good hero power. We never found a hogger. We had the Greta the whole time. No hogger. What we did find were balls, and we just duped balls repeatedly, and then put tech cards on the board at the end. And we missed our horse. His bullshit. <laughs> the re the all the stats on the horse, reborns with full stats. Right? It would have been awesome. Plus, we can still play ghoul.